Braden, can you talk about the second half versus the first half, what you guys were able to do against Duke's offense, especially the running game? Uh, yeah, no, I think, you know, when we went to the locker room, we just made a commitment, said no more, we're not going to lay any more points on the board. And, I mean, that's a kudos to the effort from all the guys on the team. I mean, we, we knew we had to step up. The first half wasn't who, isn't who we were, and, you know, we just, uh, like I said, we made a commitment to be better, and it showed. We got, we got more hats to the ball, and you know, we just played a better second half. Jaheim, you haven't, well, neither of you guys have been here that long. Uh, this is your first season here, but what, what have you seen from this team, and, and what do you feel like this team has in a game like this where you're trailing pretty much into the fourth quarter of the whole game to be as resilient as you guys are? Um, I feel like everybody on this team got some type of fight in them. Um, everybody on this team has made a commitment. Um, since I've been here, i just seen how, how, how hard we work. Um, when I came in, like, I knew this was the right the right fit for me when I came in, just watching how these guys work. And um, that's the type of guy I am, and I fell, fell in um, well with this, with this group. Brayden, you'd played three home games already with Southern Miss, Virginia Tech, and Syracuse, but I have to imagine it wasn't quite like tonight. And as a kid that's in his first year of this kind of football, what was that crowd like uh, for you tonight? What was that experience like? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think uh, the atmosphere showed itself. I mean, I, it's unbelievable for me. I mean, I've never, I say, I probably feel like I say it every time I talk to you guys, you know, it's like, it gets better and better that uh, I just get to experience this. And uh, I, I couldn't agree with more with what he said. I feel like he's a perfect fit, you know. I think we brought the right guys in, you know, we do the right things and, you know, it's starting to pay off on the field. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's great for the community, great for college football. And, you know, I couldn't be more thankful to be a part of it and for my last year. and. I mean, it's just an awesome experience overall. It's just really, really thankful. Questions for Braden. Can you walk us through the goal line stand and what that that moment says about this this defense in particular? The the one there was at the end of the third quarter there. Or? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it was kind of my fault that they got that deep down in there with the face mask, but. Uh, you know, luckily we just, like I said, I think it was kind of the same mentality we went into the second half was like, no, like no more points. You cannot let it happen. Like, we cannot let a score happen there. And, I mean, every guy on the defense was uh, was saying that. I mean, it was like, no more points here. And when when you have 11 guys that are, have, are on the same page and have the same mindset, really good things happen. And, uh, yeah, no, I couldn't be more proud of the guys out there that we made that stop. It was huge, huge for us. Are going to go over here to Ira? Brayden, also, there was a lot of talk coming into this game about their offensive line and how experienced they are, and, and it looked like it was a good test for you guys. But did you guys feel like you wore them down a little bit with, with your depth as, as the game went on? Uh, yeah, I, think, I mean, kudos to them, though. No, I mean, that was a veteran group. They played physical. That was probably one of the more physical, physical old lines that we've played all year. I mean, they were coming after us early on, and, you know, we had to, we had to fight back. And, you know, I think you know, having depth and having, being able to rotate guys and getting fresh bodies in there helps a lot, but I think it was more so the mentality that we came with. I mean, the second half, we, I've said it again, we just said we're, we're committed to stopping this. Like, this is not who we are. But yeah, uh, to your point, yes, I think, you know, getting fresh bodies in there made a huge difference, and uh, I think we were able to wear them down at some point, yeah. Uh, Jaheim, I feel like obviously a lot of guys to pay attention to on this offense between you, between Jordan, Trey, Johnny Keon. For the first two touchdowns tonight, be Keziah and then Deuce on the kick return. What's that say about how many weapons and how fun it is to be a part of an offense or a team that's so many weapons? Uh, we got a, a very elite offense. Uh, when a defensive coordinator come in and they got to, you know what I'm saying, scout us, they really don't know who to look at because you never know uh, in this offense who can go. Um, I always say uh, anybody in this off offense can go at any moment. And like I said when I first got here, you can't double everybody. So uh, I just feel like our offense is very elite. For Jaheim, um, you had the most catches tonight. You have 53 yards, you have, uh, 10 targets. You know, I guess how did the game really open up for you tonight when it came at, you know, receiver? Um, just, just through the week, um, I prepared uh, like a pro. Um, I was meeting with my coach every day. Um, just, just on the things that I had to lock in on, and um, it showed today. And um, I feel like I played a great game, and uh, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, thank my coach, you know what I'm saying, for helping me get prepared for it. Jaheim, where were you? Uh, I assume you're standing on the sideline ready to go on the field when Deuce gets the kickoff. Uh, when do you know, oh, yeah, he's gone? Like, when are you saying to yourself, because, I mean, he's one of the fastest dudes in the country. So what's that like to watch 
and when or, what was your reaction when you saw it? <laughs> What's crazy is, I know none of y'all don't know this, but that's my cousin. Um, but I was very uh, proud when he did that. Um, I knew he was gone after he, after he broke that, uh, you know what I'm saying, like little shoelace ankle tackle. I knew he was going in. Um, but he did kind of scare me when he first caught it and he stumbled. Um, I, I thought it was kind of, it's going to get bad. But uh, he, you know what I'm saying, he st stayed 10 toes down and he got up out of there. And um, I couldn't be more proud. Can I go to Adam? Brady, you're on kick return, right? Uh, for that play, I was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's new or not, but just, you I mean, you talk about the right players being here and this coaching staff talking about the right things. Like, they are so sold out to having a good, solid special teams unit. You know, what does it mean to you guys to be able to perform on that? How important is it to capitalize in those moments? No, I mean, that's probably one of the cooler things here is, you know, the emphasis on special teams. I mean, that's not, I mean, the stats show what they are. I believe we're like number one in the country in special teams. and. That's a huge part of what the preparation that goes into it. I mean, having your head coach basically running the special teams meeting with and JP. I mean, they do a really good job. And uh, no, I think it's awesome. It's huge for the game. I mean, that that was a huge spark for us. That game we needed that. And I mean, to what that did taking us into the second half was huge. And you know what that does going forward. And you know the weapons that we have. You know to put back there. I mean, the opportunities are going to be there to make plays like that. So we just got to keep capitalizing on them. Going to go to Ira. Right on that halftime conversation among the defense, was that more led by the coaches, the players, anybody in particular? Um, yeah, I mean, it was the coaches, but uh, Fabian was, was really the one that stood up in the locker room, and I mean, he made a, he made a statement of, oh, this isn't who we are, and let's turn this around. I mean, everybody was on board, but it was mainly, you know, he stood up and he took charge, and you know, kudos to him. He's a great leader for us, and he stepped up in the moment, and, and I think we really all fell in line from that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the second half spoke for itself. A couple more going to third. Jaheim, I feel like that's one of the first times we really got to see Jordan take over a game with his legs there in that in that fourth quarter. I guess on top of everything else he does, for him to do that, I guess just what's it like to get to be a part of that, watch that? And just what's he been like, I guess, embracing all the new guys, kind of assembling this offense together as the quarterback, just the leader of, of this offense? Uh, Jordan is a pro. Uh, he's, he's a prime example of what a pro is. Um, ever since I came here, um, I just see how hard he worked. Um, to be a quarterback, like he, he really, you know what I'm saying, he used his leg like if he was a running back or so. So um, on that touchdown that he had down in the end zone, down on the goal line when I got the block for him, um, I told him right before the play, I got you. Like, I got you, bro. So um, we, we snapped the ball, ran that play, and I picked up that block in the end zone for him. I was just so, you know what I'm saying, so happy. Like, I felt like I scored, like, you feel me? Like, that, that's, that's how I feel about all these guys um, on offense um, when they have success. Like, I feel like I did it, you feel me? So, uh, I really, you know what I'm saying, love this offense for sure. Anything else? All right, let's go to Jordan. Appreciate it. <laughs> we got to do something about these lights. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I have to sleep, bro. Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 